Hello everyone, my name is Nikola Nestorovic, I'm a chess grandmaster and a FIDE coach from Serbia. Today we will take a look in the game between Teodoro Nicolas, first board of the Greek, uh, Greek team, and uh, Teodoro played against Rajabov Taimur, the first board of the Azerbaijan team. Uh, on this, uh, this game was played in a European Championship that was recently finished in uh, Budva, Montenegro, where the Serbian national team got the first place and and the gold medal uh let's say here from this let's say from <laughs> from this video i'm also congratulating the serbian team for this unbelievable result so uh let's take a look in this particular game so white or we can say that teodoro here played the move e4 and now rojavov played the move e5 i will say that in this tournament rojavov didn't play so well so uh, i assume that black wanted to play like kind of like um little bit uh, calm opening and I think that Rajabov was uh, satisfied with the draw in this game. So white played a move knight to f3, knight f6 and now as we can see this is a Petrov defense so now after here uh, let's say in a couple of moves from here white has a couple of options so one option here is to play a move d4 that was in the game also here what white can do is to grab this pawn but after let's say the move at, let's say 95 the trick is that after d6 knight to e knight to go back to f3 and after knight e4 here white has options to push d4 or to offer the trade of the knight with knight e3 both both variations are very very popular on the top uh, level but in this game here Teodoro played the move d4 that's also one of the tops and after knight to e4 d to e5 and now here black has a two options black can play a move d5 that looks a pretty kind of like a normal way opening the bishop and preparing development of the c of the f8 bishop with the castle but instead of that here uh, black, black played immediately a move uh, bishop to c5 so i will say interesting move because this move uh, uh, with this idea black is entering a very very um sharp position with a lot of chances for both sides but i think that here a white attack is a bit a bit stronger but let's take a look so <clears throat> black developed the bishop and now bishop to c4 so after the move bishop to c5 this pawn is attacked twice as you can see but here white is saying no you can take that pawn for free so here white played the move bishop to c4 and knight to f2 double attack king can take the knight and now this knight is taking the queen and the rook so now from this spot here white has a counter attack move i will say so please here stop the video and try to find the best move for white to keep this game still on thank you so much i hope you had enough uh, time in this position the key move for white is a sacrifice of the bishop bishop f7 beautiful why this sacrifice is so important now, of course there is nothing else for black to do except to take but now the white queen is entering the game so now queen to d5 check attacking the king and at the same time attacking the bishop of course black now let's say he started to run through the center very important move also to go to a square uh, g6 now white took the bishop on c5 and after the knight to h1 it's a very interesting situation where white is down the rook but the problem here is that this black king is on g6 in a very very strange uh, place usually these pawns should be in front of the king but in this situation the king is in the front of the pawns so white said okay i'm at rook down but i'm still developing <laughs> white played knight e3 and now black played the move h6 the idea of the move h6 is to protect the square g5 and also to try to make a, a runaway square for the king so the king can go to h7 back but white said okay let me be aggressive still and white played the move knight to d5 now suddenly when the knight is in the center this knight can jump to e7 in some situations or also to d square f4 so black saw that and uh, Taimur played the move rook to e8 to stop this knight from the jumping on the e7 but now white played a 
very interesting and very nice move. The move is queen to d4. White is saying, okay, I'll play some of these checks so I can put pressure on the king. And now also when the queen is on d4, uh, this knight can jump on h4 because this black queen is not, a let's say, can't take this knight for free. But And after the king h7 in this position, beautiful move by white and this is like a second sacrifice uh, uh, in this position so here i will say that after king h7 again please stop the video and try to find the second uh, beautiful sacrifice that here a uh, white uh, white player played thank you so much for your time i hope you found the right move the second sacrifice is Bishop to h6, completely uh, destroying uh, the black castle. Now, when I analyze this position, the point is that black can't take that bishop. That's a poison bishop. Any kind of like, if black takes that bishop, it will be game, game over. So now, the only way for black to try to save this game is to play a move knight to c6, to keep, let's say, to attack the, the queen with the knight but and after the queen f4 to again to include the new piece in the defense that this rook and after rook queen to g4 now there is a beautiful perpetual check that actually white needs to uh, find so there is a, like a queen h3 check and a queen to g4 all only these two squares up and back and this is a draw but again these are not the easy things to see especially if the top player like Termur didn't find so after the bishop h6 Black took this, uh, let's say, this bishop with a pawn. Of course, the king is not good as well, because if he takes with the king, the queen will go to f4, check on the king. When the king goes back, knight will go to g5. And with queen h4, checkmate on h7 will be pretty, pretty quick. So, in this position, black took with the pawn and now long side castle when i analyze this position this is just a beautiful move the point of white again it's like white is rook and the piece down but the black king is in the very bad well it's a very bad spot and one thing when i'm always saying to my students try to develop as soon as possible you can see that whole queen side of black is still undeveloped rook knight bishop also the queen so we can see how this position is dangerous also now white has ideas with knight f6 white has ideas with queen e4 queen f4 queen g4 all different kinds of uh, attacking ideas on the black king so here black in this position try to play move rook to e6 with a plan with the rook to e6 idea of black is to stop this knight f6 plans but let's see knight f6 check again king needs to go back and now of course in these positions you always need to put additional piece in the game white played knight to h4 now ideas with knight h4 is obviously to jump on knight to g6 and now these two knights are doing a great job on attacking the black king so <clears throat> after knight to h4 d6 move but now new move new idea queen to f4 very important move now after queen f4 again this h6 pawn is under attack and this sac let's say the black just can't take this knight because pawn is here to defend this so black tried to play king to g7 to run but now check back and now from here yes <laughs> i will stop the clock here for the third time and try in this position to find the easiest way for white how white is checkmating the black king Thank you so much. I hope you had enough time. After the move king to h8, now white played the move knight to g6 check. After this check, black tried to run, but now there is a beautiful move knight f8 check. Here, Temur, or like we can say that black, black decided to resign. But after the move knight f8, what's the point? It's a check from the queen, so there is only one square left so to take. And now we have check. King e7 and the check mate. Just a beautiful game. I think that here Tudor had a just very, very strong preparation. So you can see what you need to do if you want to beat top, top world class GMs. You need to have such a strong opening preparation. And from there, you need to know how to attack pretty, pretty good. And I think it's just a very nice, nice win. So 
first of all uh, thank you so much for watching my video please um, um, click subscribe and uh, if you like it please uh, comment the video tell me what you want to do next i hope you really enjoy it and i hope i will see you in the next video as well thank you so much for your time and uh, see you soon <laughs> bye